Hey guys, this is my top 13 products of 2013. There have been so many makeup releases over 2013 that are amazing and I just wanted to share my top 13 with you so let's get on with the video. First thing is by Lush and it's a Santa's Lip Scrub. It gives you complete and uh, moisturised lips because it just gets rid of all the dry skin. It makes your, it leaves your lips um, tasting really nice and if I open it up do last a long time as it in, is in a really big bottle and they retail for five pounds but I got this for two pounds fifty next I have the L'Oreal Glam Shines I absolutely love these so much right now I'm wearing um this one which is called Dare the Dragon Fruit it's a nice purple color as you can see you get what you see on the packaging although it is a bit more sheer but I just love them so much. They retail for £7 each and they look great in your makeup collection which is why I love these and they are lip crayons as you can see. Next I became a bit obsessed with these because they were so great at staying on your lips. This is lip glosses and these are the Benefit Ultra Plush Lip Gloss. Now this is the full, only full size one I have and all the other ones are minis that came in a set for £13. Um, from 6.5 millilitres in the small sizes and I'm really happy with these. So I have the Nivea lip butters. Um, I'm not sure when these came out but they are absolutely amazing. If I open them up you can see I've used it a lot. Well I've used it a lot but as you can see not a lot has gone down. Still flat at the top. Smells amazing and doesn't dry your lips out and they simply just Fully moisturise your lips, you can always trust Nivea. Nivea is always an option. Finally, with the lips, you're probably expecting this. Every single beauty guru that has uploaded top 13 products 2013, I've included these. It is the Maybelline Baby Lips. Now, I have a confession to make. They had brilliant colour to your lips, tint to your lips, last quite a long time, three hours I'd say at the most, if you don't drink or eat, but I always eat every two minutes so they don't last very long on me. Um, they moisturise your lips and then dry them out to make you use them more and then buy another one because you think that they're working. So these ones, the colour's amazing but not really. These, my friends, are a different story. Hydrate and in intense care, they moisturise Full stop. They um, they are absolutely amazing. Um, one of them includes SPF, I'm pretty sure. So that just improves it even more. Moisturises your lips on holiday, keeps them protected. They last ages and these two are definitely my favourite lip balms of all time. Other ones are great for adding colour. Hello Flawless by Benefit. This includes SPF 25. Um, leave, lets your skin breathe still and also you can see how much you have left which is why I like this one. Next one is Wake Me Up by Rimmel. I love this one because it gives you great coverage but feels really light on your skin and also lasts all day and doesn't uh, make your skin shine. It just gives a nice dewy effect. Also still onto skin, I am going for MAC Selexia Press Powder. Open, when you open it up, you've got a mirror which not a lot of powders have which I'm happy about because you can transport it. You also have a sponge um, to apply it with and the colour that I got really matched my skin. I got NW20 but this one says NC25 so I'm not too sure. Next and finally for the skin I have Max Select Cover Up. I've got it on now and, and I've had it on since morning and it's only just starting to wear off. I have Rimmel Scandalize Show Off. The reason I like this one. It's because of the brush it has. It's got such a unique brush that kind of you can see it at the end. But this brush means that you can get it through really tiny eyelashes right at the front of your, right at the inner corner of your eye. I have the Giordani Gold. You've probably never heard of this brand, but it is amazing um, at making your eyelashes look normal and separation. So this is why this one is also on my top 13 list. Finally for the mascaras, I have the Urban Decay Big Fatty Mascara. Reason I love this is because it's from Urban Decay for one. Packaging is amazing, you get a lot in a bottle and when you put it on it works great for your bottom eyelashes and it just works really well with your eyelashes. Some mascaras work against your eyelashes but this one works with them and it also goes and makes your top and bottom lashes join um, kind of um, join together at the corner so it doesn't look completely odd. I have the Johnson's Baby Wipes here. I love these because most wipes you... Um, 
take your makeup off and then it smudges them and then you have to wipe it again to get the smudge away but this one it just completely takes it off and it's great for removing your eyeliner as you can see i've got it on now so it works great for getting it off and all that is why that is on my top 13 list and all the other products i talked about were great Thank you so much for watching, that is the end of the video. Please comment if you agree with me for the baby lips or if you don't. Um, like this video if you'd like me to see an EOS um, versus baby lips video. And subscribe if you want to keep updates, it's free, make the most of subscribers being free because I think YouTube's going to charge you in the future for subscribing to a channel. I know that sounds ridiculous but I don't think they will. Um, so just make the most of it and thank you so much for watching.